Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to share a conversation with you I had with my friend Akshay, who is a polar explorer who uses Mem to plan his expedition. So if you're somebody who's always wanted to figure out how to plan vacations or trips inside of Mem, this video is for you. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Akshay Nanavati, and I'm the, the author of Fearvana. I run the business and brand Fearvana. I'm also an adventurer and, as you said, a polar explorer. Yeah. So I introduced you to Mem, I think, when you came back from one of your crazy expeditions. And yeah. what problem is it helping you solve? Because I can imagine that you, my guess is like to plan a polar expedition based on the things that I've seen from you is that you probably deal with an insane amount of information that you have to manage. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. It took me a while for me to finally just actually start using when you shared it with me. And once I did, like anything, right, there was a second of a learning curve. But once I navigated it, it was transformational because so many otherwise, like I think the standard problem I'm sure you dealt with too, is like having so many different Word documents, right? Like a shit ton of different Word documents and then tracking all of that stuff. And what I loved about Mem was the interconnectedness. Like being able to sync one note to the other note and have it synergistically and seamlessly all kind of flow. It just like the ease of access there. Also in planning trips. Okay. Cause there's like when I plan trips, especially like my next one in the Arctic, there is a ton of different flights, hotels. I can easily just link to my flight itinerary to my hotel itinerary instead of having to dig through my email and typing it all out. And so that yeah. saves a ton of time and effort. And so talk to me a little bit about pre-mem, like what would planning a typical expedition have looked like? I mean, you gave us a dose, like, let's just say you're planning the current expedition that you're using mem to plan. What would yeah. that look like if you weren't using mem? So it would probably be like, a, I would start, start with the word doc and then maybe have a few different word docs, like one with my food plan one with one with the itinerary map. And then usually in the Word doc, it's just like check marks. It's not like a bulleted thing that I can scratch off. It's just check marks. And then the emails, the emails with all my itinerary would be stashed somewhere in there. So every time I wanted to open up, okay, what's my flight detail again? I'd have to go search for it in the email. And even with like food planning, because there's many different conversations I have with different mentors. So it'd be each one would be like a different document. And I also use it for my talks and stuff like that. But each, instead of having like multiple different documents, and it's just all streamlined and organized and being right. able to access each element of it significantly easier. You right. know, even with the interconnectedness of, okay, now from one mem, I can link to my food plan, which I couldn't do when it's multiple docs, right? Yeah. Not to mention, I just also don't like having a shit ton of different things open. It's just chaotic. You know how it is. Oh. You have so many different docs open on the oh, bottom yeah. of your screen. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually get into your mem setup because I think that, like I said, you're a different kind of use case. You're not like a note taker. You are a writer, but this is a completely different way to plan travel. And I remember I tried to do a video on planning vacations and I felt like I didn't do it justice because one of my, I, you know, uh, viewers was like, yeah, Srini is like, this is pretty basic. And I was like, all right, now we can solve this problem. <laughs> I you took know, your I, model. I took your yeah. model to build off of it. So yeah, let me, can you give me a screen sharing? Yeah, of course. And then let me open this up. All right. Let's we'll see what you got here. Here we go. Okay. So this is my trip. Can you see it all? Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is my next expedition in the Arctic. So full, so starting off, obviously, the title, then I have the different trips. So if I click on adventure trips, you can hold on, let me move this a little bit. So it's not you're not in the way. These are all the different trips I've done. Some of these didn't end up happening, but like different trip over the year, Galapagos, Iceland, my darkness retreat. So I have adventure trips as a hashtag. And then I'm training for this crossing of Antarctica. So these are all obviously leading towards that. And now I created a separate one for the Arctic trip. So anything, any mem related to the Arctic, goes here. So I'll show you that in a second, the food list. Here's what it is. And now my itinerary. And this is one of the big things that I love. So I open up like, okay, fly from Phoenix to Oslo. So when I click on that, it immediately goes to my email with that itinerary in there. So here's my Phoenix to Oslo trip, Phoenix, mm -hmm. London, London, Oslo. Now, this was what I was talking about earlier. I absolutely love because this is using the mem shortcuts, right? The command shift and space bar, yeah. having that shortcut to then access. So you can see in here, there's links for everything. There's the link for the hotel, the flight, because it's a lot of different moving parts. Um, there's multiple hotels, multiple flights. So I've broken down the itinerary day by day. All the hotels are linked. All the flights are linked every here, every single one of those. The itinerary. So for example, the expedition. So this is the outline of my one of my expedition, a couple of the expeditions I'm doing with the group. So just because yeah. this was multiple times, I would be like, 
oh yeah, wait, I need to look up something about that expedition. So I would then go back to the site, dig through the site to find the link. Now it's just right here. Here's all the details about this one particular expedition, right? So that's linked in that shortcut on MEM. So the Svalbard expedition is here. And then I also have my North Pole expedition, same company. So again, it links, it links right here. So that way it instantly I can access whatever I need to do from the this particular trip that I'm doing with the group. Some of them I'm doing solo, some are with the group. So my itinerary is mapped out here. Then what I also love is the, so the action items. So as I mentioned earlier, it'd just be like a scratch, right? Like, like before it'd be in a Word doc and it would just be like a bulleted list. Now it's something you can check off and uncheck, right? So I've seen what I've done. And that's always just psychologically rewarding to have the scratch off, right? So here I have my action items and then the food list. So mapping out my food list. So this is what I especially love is the interconnected to this. And I click on this, it goes to the Norway food list mem. And that is something that's been really helpful for even my other expeditions, as opposed to what ordinarily this might be two or three different docs, right? So now I have my dates, 70 days worth of food, all the food to take. And then the action items, what I need to do in terms of the food, I need to do some taste testing, which I'll be doing tonight, uh, freeze dried food with butter, lots of butter in it. So this is like how I plan. I have these, these categories and then all my trips are just mapped out when there and anything I need to find online. So if there's other notes, like right now, I'm still like, I usually know all the gear stuff. I have most of the gear, but if there's other notes, something that'll go in resources, like, all right, I need to, let's just, for example, say. I don't know, let's do ski bindings, all right? Lerata, okay, Lerata Fellas Fee Bindings. I actually just bought these, but so I didn't need it. But let's say I needed to save this. I would do, okay, the bindings. I'll hit the Apple Shift N mm -hmm. and then add, okay, bindings. And then, and then what I love here, yeah. And so I could have I could have a checklist for, I didn't really have this like the here, but I could have a checklist and then you hit Apple Plus and then mm -hmm. bindings. I think some, sometimes it takes a second to load, but it will open up that, yeah, that's yeah, I don't safe, right? Say, say, yeah, mm -hmm. you didn't say cool. Wow. Yeah, I love okay. that. And that's been a, that's you can see I use it for every single trip that I've done this year and every single yeah. trip that I will be doing moving forward. So one thing I don't know if you knew this, you can forward those itineraries directly from your email into mem. So you don't even have to go into Gmail, you could actually have the exact itinerary if you want to go in like a mem. Yeah, it'll show up as a mem. I don't know if have you set up your flows, go to flows really quick. I don't think I have done that. So what do you know? That's yeah. awesome. Okay. <laughs> so go down here, okay. forward emails to mem right there. Okay. So you have that on, Where? go up, scroll up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So go back to that email with one of your itineraries. Okay. Let's go back to this one. Yeah. And go ahead and forward it to save at mem.ai. Now go back to your inbox okay. to mem. Here's the just a second. It'll take a second, yeah. But there's the bindings loaded. Yep. We should see it here in just a second. That's the just the, the other thing. The email that you sent it from is the same email you're using for mem, right? Uh, that's a good question. Actually, it might not be. Okay. So, so do that's... This. go to you can go back to flows. You can add more than one email address. I assume it's a Gmail address or so because uh, usually I have my Akshay Fiervana is I think the yeah. mem one, and then that's my personal Gmail one. Okay. So you can, I think if you go into this, you can actually add another email address. Yeah. Go ahead. and. Oh, so this is, oh, connect another Gmail. Yep. So I think this is, let me see if actually yeah. this is in my Gmail. Oh, so it was from my oh. Gmail, I think. Yeah. So that Gmail is connected. It looks like to your, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just took a stick in a second. Yeah. It'll show up there, but you can actually okay. forward. There we go. There you go. Okay. There you go. And now you don't oh, have look at that. It's right yeah. in there. Dude, that's so great. <laughs> instead of having to open Gmail, like one less context shift. Yeah, it's just right in there. Oh, this is so great. What I would do now is I would basically, since you've already created that mem, just cut and paste this into that mem, like just copy all of this and then into that mem. And now you can sync that. But I would do that with all your itineraries in that way. Yeah. So like, for example, I could do Phoenix to Oslo flight and just, there we go. Exactly. Dude, that's great. <laughs> That's wow. super helpful. Yeah. Because like you said, one less thing, but these yeah. small things add up. These small things add up, right? Like this, these, the, it just removes the focus. And the more you can streamline that, the more it keeps your, 
your consciousness in check. So I love that. Yeah. You in particular, you're not like an average person who plans a vacation because you, it, it's not, Hey, book a hotel, book a flight and call it a day, which is what it is for most of us. You've got like a very complex itinerary. Yeah. This is because it's multi, it's four different expeditions, multiple hotels. You can see like all of these blue things are different links to itinerary. That's so, yeah, great. I mean, That's super can, helpful. You can store content. Like for example, if you find pieces of text on any of the sites that you're on, you can use mem spotlight to save those in here. So you don't have to go to those websites yeah. as often. Yeah. It's like if you highlight a piece of text, so if you were to go back to, for example, you know, the uh, one of those expedition websites, one. right? Yeah. So let's say, for example, you wanted to highlight that, and you press Command Shift L, uh, or put a Command Shift N, depending on however you set it. You can also custom. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You can, and you can customize this shortcut bar too with the um, spotlight. Yeah. There you go. So That's you awesome. That. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. I love that. And then create this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so. That's golden, dude. Yeah. yeah so, this is a great, this is a great, great tool. This so thank you for that Intel. Yeah. Overall, what have you found in terms of just your overall state of mind benefits? Like you talked to me about the, the overall benefits of using mem to do this versus how you were doing it before. Like what has been the biggest difference for you or what have been the key differences? So on the one hand, obviously there's like a time save, but I think the biggest thing for me, at least like personally, what I like is it streamlines. It's the standard, like psychological thing of decision fatigue, the more you have paradox choice, the more things there are in a world that's already pretty overwhelming with like stuff, right? So the more you can remove that and the more you can just streamline it, the more I'm able to just be keep my mind in check for something very demanding that I'm training for. And I need my mind to just eliminate as many moving parts as possible. So having it like this, it just removes friction. It sounds, again, it's very subtle, but like the, those little things add up. And especially training for something like 110 day ski crossing of Antarctica solo, every 1%, every, everybody who's a master at their craft, right? The greatest athletes in the world know this. Those 1% differences matter and they add up to make a huge difference. So I think streamlining my consciousness, my ability to just be more systematized, more in flow has been huge in just making sure I can keep my mind focused on devote your conscious and your physical and your mental and your psychological energy for the craft, not mm -hmm. for all these mindless things where otherwise, like I'm opening different docs and minusing where shit, where did I have that saved? Let me go back into my email to search which my itinerary is. Cause especially with this one, right? There's a God knows like what, like 10, 15 different flights and hotels in this. Yep. That's a lot of different stuff to keep searching for. And it adds up in terms of time as well as conscious energy. The biggest yeah. thing I've noticed is managing time is a little easier, but managing the conscious energy from my expeditions is huge. And MEM has been a game changer in, in that aspect of it, at least not to mention, not to say that it doesn't save time, but that's the one that I find most beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. You also know that, you know, for example, if you were to do future expeditions, you can use this as a template and yeah. basically say this as a template. And so I'll okay. actually, yeah. So I actually overview, do that. You know, Let's like, you know, I create so, the, uh, I'll create yeah, the, the skeleton, travel planning the template. Yep. There you go. Yeah. yeah perfect. Yeah. So, so I've set that template up, which I love. And so then immediately it's all in here. Totally. Yeah. Uh, cool. How else are you using them outside of planning your expeditions? Are you using it for notes for writing or any of that? I'm not doing too much writing these days. My whole world is pretty devoted to my expeditions. So that's my core focus. With that said, sometimes for talks, you know, for like when I do a talk, I'll write down my bulleted notes and then I make an interlink between talks and stuff like that. Sometimes I do that. But yeah. even talks, I haven't been doing too much. My whole world really is expeditions right now. So also just like planning the expeditions, right? So I have, I'll have, okay, notes from Dr. Mike. Here's a quick call I did with this guy, Dr. Mike. So I have some notes linked in. Otherwise, this would be a separate note before, right? Previous things. So it's all related to my big one. I have the crossing Antarctica. The only like one thing that with MEM, which I love, which I would love to see is the ability to create tables. Yep. That's, you know, I think, I think it's coming. So People yeah. Said that. <laughs> so that's the cool. other than that, like I absolutely love it. And then like, you can see all these calls are done with people sort of way smarter than me who've been helping and each one now is its own mem. So I link with these. So I'll have a note on my Antarctica food and they'll be like, oh yeah, link the mem to call with Balduzi. And so that interlinking of mem, as opposed to what I was doing earlier is like, where's that word doc again? And then opening it up or just having a shitload of docs open already. This one's just streamlines that. Yeah. Cool, man. I'm really glad that you got to share this with us because I wanted to do something that was a bit different. Most of my tutorials yeah. focus exclusively on knowledge workers, but the fact that you're a polar explorer using them to plan a polar like <laughs> cr crazy expeditions, I thought was just such an interesting yeah. study. And I'm, I'm glad that we had a chance to talk. And for everybody watching, as always, feel free to leave comments or feel free to leave questions in the comments below.